It's been more than four months now since Lahaina was destroyed by wildfire. And for the first time since then, residents are now allowed back in all zones of the town. This is a five mile, 2100 acre stretch along Front Street and Hanoa Pi'ilani Highway. It has been reopened in phases in the past week as safety reviews took place. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is now awaiting right of entry approval to begin clearing debris and hazardous material. Access is restricted to residents with a vehicle pass or with valid ID, and it's only allowed between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. daily. On Oahu, a new proposal looks to construct walls along both sides of the Alawai Canal for flood mitigation. Officials from the city and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers held a community meeting yesterday to detail that plan. It calls for walls six to nine feet high, which would continue up the waterways into Manoa and Palolo. Some residents used the forum to voice their concerns. The resulting project, six to nine foot walls at over a billion dollars, is very sad. Driving along the Alawai with your plan as it is now, all we'll see is that wall. In Maui, they knew years ago about their liability. Would you rather deal with $12 billion of destruction? Or would you rather deal with trying to come up with some money to protect ourselves from having something like that happen? This was the first public listening session in a required 45-day comment period that ends in January. We're told the input gathered will be used to construct a report on the proposal due out next summer. All right, we have dozens of Oahu parks that have recently gotten somewhat of a makeover. The Department of Parks and Re Recreation has installed hundreds of new tables and benches in facilities serving lower-income communities. We're talking about Old Stadium Park in Mo'ili'ili and K.L. Beach Park in West Oahu. Now, it's hoped that those new fixtures will encourage more residents to make use of city parks. Park officials do acknowledge that they may be attractive to those who are looking to set up camp. We do have um, challenges in our parks because of people that may be setting up camp there. But we also have challenges in parks from people who are housed. I mean, a lot of the vandalism and other things that we have are not necessarily, you know, people that are homeless. It's, it's local people. The city says it works with HPD on enforcing park rules and city laws, but that the benches and tables are available to everyone regardless of their socioeconomic status. That project was made possible by a $3 million federal grant. The surf is going to be big as well. Wednesday and Thursday are in red because of that front, which is bringing us rain and wind today and tomorrow. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment of your health.